Uh, I'm Ben Bradford. I'm a lieutenant here at Bloomfield Township. I've uh, been here for 14 years. Yeah, so I started teaching EMS classes about 12 years ago here and been an EMS instructor here ever since. And yeah, that's what I like to do here. We're on scene of an MCI. It looks like we got, I don't know, 12 patients. It's a mass casualty incident, um, an incident that overwhelms our normal resources. So things like a shooting or a bus accident, anything like that. And the purpose is to prepare the guys for triaging patients if we were to have an MCI in the township. Um, so we are trying to focus on the skills of actually triaging patients and deciding who gets immediate care and who can wait for care. We had 12 mannequins throughout the bay um, with a description of their injuries and conditions. The green tags are the least serious, so the black tags are for deceased, yellow are the more significantly wounded, and red are the very serious patients. And the guys walked around and decided what level of care they needed and triaged them. We always walk up and tell everybody that can walk to get up and walk to a designated area. Everybody that can walk, let's go over by the fire truck over there or anywhere you pick and get your walking wounded. Um, if they're not able to walk, then we're gonna go and triage them. Um, the yellow patients are the ones that get treated second and then the red patients are gonna get triaged and treated first. Um, so they're not gonna be able to walk and we're gonna have to help them move to a treatment area or a transport area. Um, that's standardized across the entire country. So any EMS agency that came to help would know what that is. Uh, so we chose today to be a shooting. Um, unfortunately, that's a fairly common occurrence in our country and a very realistic scenario. Um, our guys were up at the Oxford shooting, um, so we could be called to that. Um, so unfortunately, that's what we picked. So we had various injuries from superficial wounds to gunshot wounds that were fatal. And the guys had to address and recognize which ones were treatable and which ones were beyond any help. The green patient that was about 10 years old, that was hysterical, they just needed some direction on where to go um, to the triage and staging area. Um, so the goal with that was to have the guys recognize that the patient was a green, wasn't really injured and just needed further direction. So we had a couple patients that just had some serious bleeding that was treatable with a tourniquet and their goal was to identify that the patient was viable, apply direct pressure to the wound, um, get the tourniquet on nice and tight until the arterial bleeding stops, check for a lack of pulse in the extremity and then time the patient and move on. So I think they're using their imagination to try and put themselves in the setting. Um, I don't think they're going too deep into trying to visualize the gruesome injuries. And in reality, on a call, they're trying to focus on the treatments and that sort of thing, not exactly how horrific the injury might be, but on what they need to do to make the situation better and care for the patient. I hope that they go away feeling more confident, prepared, that if they do go to an MCI, they can handle it, and that they'll be able to better treat the community members if they have to do that. It's an honor to serve them, and that we take a lot of pride in being prepared to go out and do whatever they need us to do for them.